Okay, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about um, setting up your own uh, turn signal system, hazard system, and then uh, also wiring the headlight and the horn system with a lap uh, handlebar switch. Uh, first, talk about the turn signal system. So uh, I don't have a battery here, so I use a lithium battery with 12 volt, so set up a system. Power goes to the fuse. So fuse supply power to everything. So suppose uh, you turn the key on and then the power goes to the fuse. And the fuse goes uh, to everywhere. So first, through the fuse, I got go to the ear and then goes to the turn signal relay here. This turn signal relay to the positive. And then from the positive comes out to the L pin, which is a yellow wire. This will goes to the uh, turn signal switch on the uh, here, the turn signal switch. This, the power goes to the turn, turn signal switch. And here you have to connect to the, uh, let me see, here. brown and white wire. You can refer to my uh, wiring diagram on the website. <coughs> Brown and white wire. This will go. This is the power for the turn signal system. So the power goes through the switch, and then from you have left and right. So left comes out here to this uh, chocolate wire. Chocolate wire goes to the left turn signal system. The power power to the left turn signal system and then the dark green wire this one dark green wire send power to the right turn signal system okay right turn signal system and then the negative pin on the, this relay will goes to the negative of the battery so negative system Okay, so once again, power comes out, uh, go through the fuse, fuse goes to the positive of the turn signal relay, and then power comes out through yellow wire on L pin to the turn signal switch, then you select either left the chocolate wire turn signal or the dark green to the right turn signal system so here try first the left turn signal you press left so you see the left turn signal flashing nothing on the right okay and cancel it press center and then the right turn signal okay right turn signal the right side flashing nothing on the left and you cancel it here okay this is to set up the uh, turn signal system with the relay here I call vibe okay and after that you set up the hazard system same fuse goes to power power goes to the the bring this special relay the double contact relay uh, the power the red red wire goes to get power from the red wire here goes to the brinker re, uh, I mean, I mean the brinker relay so they join together that's why and the yellow wire this one also join together to the turn signal switch. So <clears throat> once you activate the the double contact relay, so power will go to uh, draw power from this red wire, which also goes to the uh, brinker relay, and then comes out from this uh, yellow wire that goes to the turn signal switch. And then uh, you have the green wire from this double contact relay that goes to the left turn signal uh, light 
and then another green wire goes to the right turn signal light I drawn it here okay so and then the negative of this double contact relay this one is not going to the ground directly it goes to a the switch here so you connect the negative of this double contact relay first to the switch then from the switch to the negative of, of the battery so once when you turn the switch on both left and right turn signal flashing together so you turn it off nothing happened okay it will cancel the hazard system so you use the double contact relay with the blinker relay so you can set up your turn signal system here and then the hazard system here so uh, you can actually always refer to my uh, wiring line diagram in my website to see exactly how the wires go each, which one go to which one and uh, then we talk about the headlight here same wire go through the fuse the headlight fuse and then we'll go to the headlight here this one I install a meter switch here for the headlight and this one will go to the uh, blue and this is actually the blue and black wire I don't know if you can see the black stripe or not blue and black wire so it goes to the blue and black wire and then goes to the headlight through the switch here the low beam and then the high beam so you comes out here from the switch the green wire from this three pin connector the green wire goes to the low beam and then the yellow wire goes to the high beam this special yellow wire is supposed to go to the uh, headlight indicator uh, uh, light bulb on your on your dash but I don't have dash here so I'm just leaving it alone here so uh, some motorcycle uh, may not have a, a switch for the headlight so once you connect the power the light will come on automatically for some country so this is a low beam and then high beam low beam high beam low beam high beam low beam if your system don't have a headlight switch then just connect directly the power goes directly to the headlight switch which is the blue and black wire and then the other two wire from the three pin connectors green to the low beam and yellow to the high beam and then the black wire is the ground. The negative goes to the negative of the headlight uh, socket anyway. So it's just a lighting system. I'll turn it off here so save the battery. And uh, after that, the last thing is the horn. The horn is quite simple. Suppose you have the fuse, your horn fuse or whatever, then the power will go to the horn directly. Go to the horn first. And once you go through the horn, the negative of the horns will go to the pink wire of this uh, left hand switch box. Okay? Remember the pink wire is the negative of your horn. So when you press the negative of your horn, press the horn button, that will ground the horn and the horn will sound. Okay? That's the horn. If your system has the uh, a power goes to the switch first and then when the switch goes to the horn then you have to rewire it and uh, uh, maybe get the, the power away from the from the original switch box and then uh, connect directly to the horn and then put the negative back to the pink wire here as I said so you got a horn system set up quite easy power goes in the horn go back out to the switch once you pass the button the negative will join, so the horn will sound, quite simple.
once again, the headlight, the lighting system. Uh, maybe the headlight fuse here comes in, and then the power goes out to here, and then to whatever headlight switch you have. If you don't have any, the power just go directly to the uh, blue and black wire. Blue wire with black right, and then go to the switch, and then uh, from the free and then the free so uh, free wire socket. Then you have the green wire goes to the low beam. Yellow wires goes in high beam, and then black wire goes to the ne negative of the socket too. So, okay. If you have any uh, question or problem, just search my user ID to all bio on Google. Then you can find uh, more in information. This is the system that I set up. Okay. So we have your hazard light. Okay, your hazard light, hazard light, you have your turn signal, left, and then your right turn signal, push to cancel, and then your headlight, I'll turn the headlight on. Low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. Uh, here, this one is the, uh, the marker light, the small light bulb inside there. I didn't connect it, so if you want, uh, if your bike has a marker light, there's another system too. So your power goes to the marker light also. Uh, and then the horn, as I said, quite simple. Power goes to horn, and then the negative of horn goes to pink wire. You push the button, the horn sound. Okay, thank you for watching. And any question, just search my my user ID on Google. Find more or more information.